radiology is confronting several significant challenges. Based on the 2022 RCR workforce census and my interaction with professionals in the field, the workforce crisis is evident. The census highlights a current 29% shortfall in radiologists, translating to approximately 1,770 professionals needed to meet demand. Given current trends, we're looking at that becoming a 40% shortfall by 2027, which means needing 3,300 additional radiologists. Despite a 15% increase in the number of radiologists in England over the last five years, the demand for scans has increased by 30% leading to reporting backlogs and significant NHS outsourcing costs. Waiting times for MRI and CT scans have also increased, exacerbated by the pandemic. There are both short-term and long-term solutions to address this. In the short term, outsourcing has been a stopgap measure, enabling departments to clear backlogs and cover on-call rotors, but, a significant, but at a significant financial cost and impact on training opportunities. Insourcing where departmental radiologists are paid to report scans outside of their normal contracted hours is another alternative. Although more expensive, it ensures quality of reporting. To address the long-term challenge, there's a push to train more radiologists. However, this is constrained by funding shortages and the already stretched capacity for training due to the need for service provision. Utilising subspecialty reporting networks and extending the scope for radiographers are potential measures to alleviate the demand. Another perceived challenge to radiology is the rise of AI. Many people incorrectly claim that AI will make the job of a radiologist obsolete. Instead, from reading around the topic and conversations with those in radiology, I think it's far more likely to become a tool to augment radiologists rather than a replacement because it's in its current guise, AI can only manage single tasks rather than being able to assess for the multitude of widely varying pathologies like a radiologist can. Also, it cannot understand a clinical context like a radiologist or have meaningful interactions with clinical teams, which is a critical part of interpreting complex studies. AI shows promise in, with applications from fracture detection, hemorrhage and stroke detection, lung nodule detection as well as improving departmental workflow through triaging radiographs. It has also been suggested that it could be used as a second reporter for mammography. However, concerns around accountability and data protection persist. Additionally, there are several perceived turf wars with non-specialists such as cardiologists and vascular surgeons performing tasks traditionally done by radiologists, for example cardiac MR or arterial endovascular work. Interestingly, I think the perception works both ways. For example, medics feeling that radiologists is taking away uh, chest drains from them in some hospitals. While this might aid in managing workload, adequate training is really important, and there will always be concern about how comprehensive a non-radiologist report might be. For example, a cardiologist may be able to report in detail about the heart, but are they trained to pick up lung lesions? Lastly, radiology is grappling with an image crisis. There's a lack of awareness about the critical role that radiologists play. Some medical students don't even realise that radiologists are doctors. This may lead to reduced job satisfaction and a lack of recognition for pivotal contributions they make to patient care. Addressing this involves improving accessibility and communication with medical teams, improving public awareness and engaging more with medical students.